Yeah, it's larger. Typically, what you see is isolated measles outbreaks where someone does import it into the country um, as a result of foreign travel. In fact, we saw a case in Kentucky as well yesterday. That also seems to be related to foreign travel. Typically, those cases would be snuffed out after perhaps a handful of transmissions because vaccination rates are typically high. This is a much larger outbreak, and it's concentrated in a community that does travel. So there, the concern would be that it gets seeded into other pockets of relatively low vaccination rates. And remember, vaccination rates have been declining around the country. Um, so there are states with overall low vaccination rates, um, Idaho around 79 percent, Alaska 84 percent. Um, and when you think about the states with low vaccination rates within those states, there's obviously pockets of, of even lower vaccination. It's not like it's an average spread across the country where you have a specific communities that have low vaccination rates. So when it gets into those communities, you can have the potential for an outbreak. And that would be the concern right now, that against the backdrop of declining vaccination rates around the country, you start to see um, this spread into other pockets where it can continue to spread because you have these communities that have foregone vaccination in large enough numbers. Remember, this is a vaccine that after one dose is 93 percent effective, after two doses, 97 percent effective at preventing um, people from contracting measles. But if you're unvaccinated and you come into contact with measles, you have a 90 percent chance of getting infected. This is one, one of the most contagious uh, viruses that we know. So if you do get people traveling who are infected uh, and you into a community with low vaccination rates, there's going to be spread within that community.